the enormity of celebrity that she has in South Korea. In fact, she's had to train in Toronto to escape the madness. 제가 운동 선수이기 때문에 이런 아직은 제 공인으로서 이런 막 경험한 분들이 옆에 계시고 올려드는 걸 막아주고 이런 것들이 아직은 you know you know you know, you know like mayhem it's like being a rock star. You go anywhere, and everybody knows you in a cam. Everybody. It's such a phenomenon. They adore her. Sing, 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 sing. Sing, 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 sing. That's her voice. It's her singing. <laughs> Selling a fridge. <laughs> she's polite and she's nice and she's not a snob and she doesn't see herself as a superstar at all. The fans just eat it up. And then it just, I mean, it just became overwhelming. My fans take a picture and camera's right here. <laughs> it's, it's a little kind of scary. Hard to train in Korea. I'm training in Toronto. I feel like I'm just a normal person when I'm in Canada. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> she does feel a responsibility to a lot of people around her, to her fans. And she doesn't want to let anybody down. Oh. Come on, Yuna. Ah, oh, Yuna, Yuna, Shmuna. Yuna. <laughs> okay. The expectations getting more and more every time. I know what she's made of. I know that she's the best in the world. But the Olympic Games, boy oh boy, it's a real test for everybody. Nice. Nice. So many expectations. Her income estimated at about eight or nine million a year, but she does give back. She recently donated about $100,000 to Haitian earthquake relief. But just imagine the pressure she is under, expectations from her Korean 